The country held Victory Day celebrations overnight. It's their biggest national holiday. President Putin also addressed the nation. Marcus Morris in Ukraine with the latest on that. Good morning, Marcus. George, good morning. Overnight, Russia fired 25 missiles. Ukraine says it managed to intercept 23 of those. And as debris rained down over parts of Ukraine, Vladimir Putin today said the world is at a turning point. Overnight in Red Square outside the Kremlin, Russia, staging its annual Victory Day parade, commemorating the Soviet defeat of Nazi Germany. It was a scaled down ceremony due to Russia's assault on neighboring Ukraine and security concerns following an alleged May 3rd drone attack on the Kremlin. In a rare step, similar smaller parades in 24 cities were canceled, showing the depth of those worries. The day scaled back, but Putin showing no sign of backing down over Ukraine, falsely claiming Russia was defending itself. The Russian leader saying the stakes have never been higher. Today, the civilization is once again at a decisive turning point. A real war has been unleashed against our motherland again, he claimed, adding the West insists on its exclusivity, provokes conflicts, sows hatred, and destroys family values in order to impose its will on people. The Russian president, flanked by several leaders of former Soviet republics, including Alexander Lukashenko of Belarus, whose country plays a major role in the invasion of Ukraine. But notably, the parade did not showcase new military technology as it has in years past. Later today, the Pentagon is expected to announce an additional $1.2 billion in security assistance to Ukraine, and it includes new air defense weapons, something we have heard constantly uh, here, one of the few things protecting Kyiv from relentless attacks. Rebecca. Okay, Marcus Moore, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.